Namibia, it's a beautiful country to explore with many things to see, not only the desert, the capital city or the ocean. In my exploration in Namibia, I got a chance to visit a beautiful city or region called Korihas, which is in the northwest of Namibia. In my stay here, I got a chance to mentor some students, some teenagers and tell them to believe in their dreams and to keep chasing whatever they desire and education to be a key and not the only key to life. Anyway, I also went on adventurous hiking here in Korihas with great friends and a great company and we agreed why not go on a road trip out of the city. And this is the crazy road trip to the farm. As you can see, I am very, very excited because today we are up on another adventure. I'm excited because I'm standing on top of like a pickup and we are out heading to the farm. This should be adventurous and fun together with my friends that I will introduce to you in a few. Hit the like button and let's go on a road trip to the farm. Currently here we are at Korihas, a town in Namibia and I'm excited to continue exploring and having a good time here. Yes, it's sunny but we gotta do this. Let's have a good one. All these things have come in here to be safe. Oh, on the corner? Mm -hmm. Okay. So guys, we are getting ready for us to have comfortable space here, you know. That is such a white towel in this midst. Meet wise man, the bad boy in charge of safety and security of the people in the crew. Meet Benny, the guy in charge of music and making sure we are having a good time. Then there is me, definitely. Is video? Yeah. Okay. In charge of eating and documenting the whole experience and making sure that everyone is well. Anytime I get a chance to experience something I have never experienced before or at least a place I will never see again or an experience I may never experience again, I get motivated and challenged to take it up. So once I was told about this road trip or going to the farm, I was up for the idea, but they told me of so many challenges that I was going to face there, like I have nowhere to sleep, that's why we had to carry the extra mattresses so we can figure out where we are going to be staying. The second thing, I was going to be the only lady who was going to be there, and other challenges that I was like, you know what? This life is full of challenges, so let's go. We shall figure things out. I was still excited despite knowing what was going to be ahead of this journey. Can we also take a minute to appreciate how good roads Namibia has? Like, just have a look. In the outskirts, way, way far out of the capital city, out of the city Cory has, and now we are heading to the farm, but the road is still intact and good. No portals, no nothing amazing and oh just in case you didn't know namibia is ranked to be the leading in most developed roads in africa i thought you should know before i introduce you to the food let me introduce you to one very important person on this road trip meet prince the guy in charge of making sure our stomachs are full and we are satisfied <laughs> the birds. My eating is not from YouTube. It's fine. <laughs> I'm not <kidding> <laughs> YouTube. There's a trip before we've even started. <laughs> the trip starts from the moment you take in the car mm. to the preparation. It starts from parking. One five dollar. So when we get there, we don't worry about when the food is going to arrive. Mm -hmm. Hey! <laughs> Road trip hacks 101. So if someone or a local who has done the road trip before gives you a warning, take it seriously. So I was told 
to eat because I'm not sure when the next meal is going to be. So be sure I devoured. Anyway, the journey continues and we had a lovely time because our good driver, very good person. So in my head, I never thought I had never experienced being in a pickup, but not inside like a passenger, but on where load is supposed to be. So from this experience, I got that realization because the wind, let me give you a glimpse. <laughs> After some kilometers, we left the main tarmac road and got this not tarmac road, but still good for the car and for the drive. The thing is, anytime you're doing a road trip in Namibia, be sure of long distances in between where the only thing you see is either flat land or land that is not occupied or a desert if you're in the desert areas. And this side was not any different. <laughs> So we are here in front of a beautiful hill sort of and guys I just realized that it's my first time to be in this position because the wind is like coming at you and it's been a good experience I've loved it so far so we are pausing in just like some land that barely has anyway that's wrong to say there's like a family on the other side and more people hitchhiking, something like that, I think so. Yes, it is hitchhiking, so we need to make space for more people that are coming in and so that we can accumulate as more as we can. This is good, this is good. Have faith, I'm just like, wow. In other news, the sun is setting. Our luxury has come to an end. You can sit now. Okay. You ready to sit up there? No. Never that one. My Welcome to our cream. From here, it's not that far. You can actually just like check the view, not view, but like the let's see this sunset also. Also the sunset. Yeah. And the journey continues. See you in the fall. Immediately I arrived in Namibia and began to introduce myself as Damaris to people. Almost every Namibian would tell me like Damara. And at some point I wouldn't get it until I explored Namibia more. So Damara is a region or a tribe in Namibia who are called closely to my name. So anytime I would introduce myself, people would relate to that and that way they would remember my name. So one fascinating thing about this tribe is how they talk. They have the nga nga sort of sound. I'm sorry, I didn't do it right, but they have the click sound. So it was very fascinating all the time to listen to them as they talk. Just now how you talk. The thing is, at this point, we had already all lost our internet connection and our network based because this area does not have coverage. Even storytelling was not easy because of the wind. And so at some point, we just kept enjoying the views and just the road trip and nature, the sunset, you know. All I was on a Sunday. cow in Namibia this one's surely we are in the farm but how beautiful is this place so good absolutely gorgeous it's so good I like it fresh air animals some green no people also this is Namibia the signature of Namibia is the absence of <laughs> things happening yeah mm. it's a 
last country with yeah. small pockets of urban populations. It is very common to drive for five, six hours without so single, thing, a yes. single person or single car. I think I'll fill my boots up until it hits your shoe and your feet and then I'll wear my official shoes. Official shoes? Yeah. I don't mind. Okay. So the orange house is this. What did you say is the name of this place? At the Lions Fountain. At the Lions Fountain. Lions Fountain. Just look at this. Oh my <laughs> God. Oh my goodness. You live here? I, I didn't want to Oh it my God. What? What? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Compared with a heated shower. This is wow. awesome. <laughs> Cool. Oh my god, just look the mountain on this side, his house on wow. this side. That's nice. <gasps> no, I was expecting so. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't even it's have nice like expectations. Though, really. This is so good. So, the arrival was just like though. grand. Wow, this is wow. amazing. Amazing. You call it's this a form again or advanced life? <laughs> 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 wow, good. <laughs> Apparently, Prince played with our minds, and this place was actually luxurious and beautiful. And I can't wait to share with you some of my experiences and my stay here in the village. So, guys, you have seen my grand entrance to what is going to be my home for the next two days. I'm excited to be spending here three nights actually and i will create as much content as i can hit the like button i hope you enjoyed that crazy road trip i had fun at it and guys i will see you in my next video bye for now